He's here. Secure your positions. Don Wilson is an American martial artist and actor. He's considered the greatest kickboxing champion in the sport's history. The master's talents turned out to be in demand on the set of Category B action movies, which used to be popular. How does the famous actor live now? You will learn about it from this video. Don the Dragon Wilson, where is Hollywood's blood fist now? Donald Glenn Wilson was born on September 10, 1954, in Alton, Illinois. His American father was a senior engineer when he got a job at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. He moved the family to Cocoa Beach, Florida. Don was then four years old, and his Japanese mother was trying every day to teach her son his native language. But there were no Japanese people in Florida at that time, and the boy didn't want to stand out so he turned a deaf ear. Wilson never learned this language. He is not recognized as Japanese in the land of the rising sun and is considered an American. Don did well in school, excelled in football and basketball. He also dabbled in wrestling, which earned him a scholarship to the Coast Guard Academy in New London, Connecticut. He entered there in 1972, and thanks to his older brother, Jim, began to practice martial arts at the same time. Once Jim challenged him to spar and easily won, which was unexpected for Donald because he was taller and bigger than Jim. This made a strong impression on the young man and he began to study karate. In 1973, Wilson left the academy and received an associate electrical engineering degree from Broward Community College in Florida. In parallel with his studies and training, the guy worked in one of the most famous nightclubs in Florida. First he was a security guard, and then he became a bartender and manager of the club. He then enrolled at his father's alma mater, Florida Institute of Technology, but dropped out to the disappointment of Wilson Sr. and pursued a professional fighting career. During this time, Don was studying Kung Fu Pai Lum, White Dragon, with his brother Jim and began to participate in competitions. Wilson's nickname is associated with this fighting style. In 1974, before the first fight in a new type of martial arts, kickboxing, the young athlete was asked how he wanted to be announced, and Don, without thinking twice, chose the Dragon. And this stuck, becoming his nickname in sports and the cinema. While attending a martial arts tournament, Don, along with his comrades, helped detain a thief who snatched a wallet from an old lady. The athletes didn't allow the offender to leave and held him until the police arrived. Wilson fought in various tournaments two to three times a month, receiving a small fee for victories. He was prompted to become a professional by an article in a newspaper in which he was given the nickname Flash, meaning that he would not last long in battle. In 1979, Don the Dragon Wilson became the U.S. middleweight champion, and he won his first WKA light heavyweight title in 1980. With the money received then, the young man bought a beautiful red Corvette, a diamond ring, and a gold Rolex watch with diamonds and a dragon image for $15,000. This was followed by world titles in other kickboxing organizations. Don completely dominated kickboxing, fighting anyone by any rules. He beat the best champions in their hometowns when they were at their peak. What makes the Dragon the greatest champion is the fact that he has won 11 world titles in three different weight classes in six different organizations. Once Chuck Norris saw Wilson at a kickboxing fight and invited the young man to act in movies. Even though initially Don was not very interested in the cinema, he nevertheless decided to try it for additional income. In 1982, he starred in a low-budget action movie. At that time, the kickboxer often agreed to roles in action films and TV shows without even reading the script. After he met agent Ray Cavallari, who is still his agent, Don appeared in commercials and made a cameo in an episode of the series General Hospital. Later, he was recruited to the set of the drama Say Anything as a kickboxing coach, but the director decided to include Wilson in the film. The picture was released in 1989, along with the war drama Born on the Fourth of July, the Italian horror movie After Death, and the action movie The Siege of Firebase Gloria. The sports action movie Blood Fist, where Wilson played the main role, became iconic for him. Matagal Kanajan. How long have you been there? Not long enough. You're very flexible. Oh, God, another American. 
There were seven more parts of this story, and the kickboxer played different characters in each of them. A former champion, a failed hitman, a confiscator, and an FBI agent. All of these characters fought for justice using their martial arts skills. After Blood Fist, Don the Dragon Wilson spent most of his time on the set. In the next two years, his filmography was replenished with Blood Fist 2, Delta Force 2, The Columbian Connection, Blood Fist 3, Force to Fight, Future Kick, and Ring of Fire. It's difficult to eat noodles with chopsticks. You speak English really well. Thank you. So do you. The success of which led to the creation of two sequels, Ring of Fire 2, Blood and Steel, and Ring of Fire 3, Lion Strike. At the time, Wilson was making good money, $250,000 per film and over a million a year. For comparison, Don's record kickboxing payout was $60,000, at first, the young actor spent money exclusively on himself. He bought famous brand clothes and expensive watches, but then he realized that it is much more valuable to help his family. Wilson's attitude towards acting has also changed from film to film. He began to notice that his films bring joy to people and stimulate them to practice karate and other sports. This made him concentrate on his film career, leaving the ring in the early 90s. After all, Don has already won all possible titles in kickboxing. In the following years, such films starring the dragon were released as Black Belt, three more parts of Blood Fist, Die Trying, Human Target, and Ground Zero, Red Sun Rising, and Out for Blood. He's a lawyer. Oh, are you rich? I simply adore wealthy lawyers. They're so ruthless. Not rich. In the latter, he was not only an actor, but also a screenwriter and producer. In 1994, slightly deviating from his usual role as a martial artist, Wilson received an invitation to the American sci-fi action movie, Cybertracker. You ever leave your post again, you'll answer to me. <laughs> Great work here. Thanks, Senator. Just doing my job. <laughs> In 1995, he appeared as a gang leader in a Batman movie, Batman Forever. Who the hell are you? I'm Batman. <laughs> hey, so I forgot my suit, all right? In the same year, he played the main roles in the action films Blood Fist 7, Manhunt, Cybertracker 2, and Virtual Combat. In 1996, Don produced and starred in the horror movie Night Hunter, in which his character becomes a vampire hunter. So what are all these names in here? Are they vampires? Why are they all crossed out? Every time I killed one, I crossed out a name. On June 19, 1996, Wilson married a high-in-demand Hollywood makeup artist and producer, Kathleen Carradine. They had met on the set of Future Kick a few years earlier and had three children shortly after the wedding, Jonathan, Drayden, and Obriana. In the same year, Kickside magazine named him the greatest athlete of all time in Europe. Also, the action films Terminal Rush and Blood Fist 8, Train to Kill, were released. Well, I better be going. No, wait. Uh, I would like to go out with you Friday. Great. Well, we'll talk later then. I look forward to it. In the following years, the actor and kickboxer appeared in the thriller Paper Trail, the fantastic action movie The Prophet, an episode of the family series The Wonderful World of Disney, and also played an Interpol agent in the action movie Inferno. Drop the gun. Sneaky bastard. You're slipping, Kyle. I thought I trained you better than that. At least I don't need somebody to set my dates up for me. In 1999, Don the Dragon Wilson returned to the sport to win the IKF World Heavyweight Championship, followed by the 2000 ISKA North American Heavyweight Championship. In his last fight on July 19, 2002, he won by knockout. In total, Don had 79 fights during his career, of which 72 wins, 5 defeats, and 2 draws. For such a long career, one fight still never happens between the Dragon and Jean-Claude Van Damme, even though a certain producer offered to organize the fight with a $100,000 prize, Van Damme refused. Wilson didn't leave the cinema. He starred in the action movie Moving Target, an episode of the cult series Walker, Texas Ranger, with his friend Chuck Norris, the crime comedy Stealing Harvard, 
in the action movie Redemption. In the following years, Don starred in the films Sci Fighter and Soft Target. Wilson notes in interviews that it seems strange to him how much money major film studios spend on filming. The movies that he stars in don't have such high budgets and sometimes to save money, they have to improvise. For example, in the 2007 sci-fi action movie The Last Sentinel, the underwater scene was filmed in the actor's private pool. In the 2010s, the dragon appeared in the films The Whole World at Our Feet, Underdog Kids, The Horde, Showdown in Manila, The Scorpion King 4, The Lost Throne, and other low-budget action movies. They call him The Scorpion King. <laughs> <laughs> That's just an old campfire story. In 2015, Don Wilson was inducted into the International Sports Hall of Fame. He became a trainer and conducts master classes all over the world. The martial arts master follows the main events in the world of sports. For example, he watched the fight between McGregor and Nurmagomedov in Moscow and noted that he was rooting for Habib. He doesn't like it when opponents talk about personal things, religion, call each other names and humiliate each other outside of the battle. Talking about his sports career, Don notes that the most difficult rivals in the ring became his good friends. According to him, martial arts teach primarily about respect, while modern fighting is more like a show. Now the legend of kickboxing in action films continues to star in films and produce his own projects, although not so often. He still plays martial artists and looks like he's in great shape. Together with his wife and two youngest children, Don lives in Los Angeles. Now he can devote much more time to his family than when his eldest son was growing up. He used to try to take on as much work as possible to make a lot of money, but he regrets the time he didn't spend with his firstborn. Don the Dragon Wilson considers himself the only kickboxer to appear in movies. The rest, in his opinion, only imitate kickboxing in films. Do you agree with this opinion? If you like the video, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything interesting.